For our week seven, activity three, we are going to make a discussion board about how all of these things we have learned about the, the set, the world that's created through objects and costuming, how this relates to specific sets that were used in Lord of the Rings. So we have set one, the Shire, Lothlorien, Edoras, and Gondor. I want you to break into groups. I've created four different threads on the discussion board labeled uh, as week seven, activity three, Shire, Loth with the different names like that. And I want you to answer all of these questions about one of the settings, just one of the settings. And then you're gonna leave comments for each of the other three groups. So you're gonna find one person who's done a different group and you're going to leave them comments. And there's going to be no more than six people in a group to make sure that all of the groups have at least somebody in them. So the first one is, I want you to think about, is the setting stylistic or realistic? Does it seem like something that would have been dug up from archaeology or something that was imagined in a fantasy? What kind of atmosphere does the setting suggest? Uh, and that, that sort of vague term means, how is it projecting feeling into the setting? For example, how is lighting creating feeling or, or color? How are props and costumes creating feeling in that setting? Then think about how do costumes relate to, say, setting and characters. For example, how does the, the Hobbit's clothing with its primary colors that are kind of reminiscent of rural British clothing in the late 19th, early 20th century, how does that contribute to the sort of feeling that we get in the set of the Shire here. At this, this opening scene, you actually see clothes are sort of literally part of the setting as they're hanging out on a clothing line. What sort of feeling does that create? How does it relate to understanding of the characters who inhabit or come from that setting? What kind of objects do you see? Do any of these have a kind of symbolic function? And then finally, just overarching, does the set create a sense of the fantastic for the Lord of the Rings trilogy? Why or why not? Respond with a sentence or two for each of these, and then leave your comments. Can't wait to hear what you think.